This is Joshua with One Man Show. I have a problem. When I am out shooting, I mean, you can see all the leaves. It's fall time and it's going to be raining soon. Uh, any day now where I like to shoot, and sometimes I have to shoot in the rain. I'm part of a Panasonic group uh, with the GH5 that I have. And one individual asked a question, you know, what do you do with when it starts to rain? I mean, the GH5, or the, pardon me, the G85 uh, is weather sealed, but the lenses usually aren't. And I do not like to even get rain on any of my equipment. So I had an idea. I thought, okay, um, what could you do with an umbrella? And I came up with a solution uh, that really does work, but you really do have to mic uh, the individual you're shooting if, if you're doing that because the rain hitting onto the umbrella uh, Gets pretty noisy. So I'm going to show you my setup here, and you know what it works and uh, It keeps the rain from getting onto your Equipment when you shoot now you get these on uh, eBay or Amazon all they are are little uh, umbrellas that go on your head as you can see with this one that I got and it's like two bucks um, it's got a little area where your your head can go as you can see right here um, what I did was is I took this one I spray painted it with material spray paint on the top because the uh, was a Canadian flag so it disturbed some of the lens stuff so I'm gonna push that in there what I did is I drilled a hole inside here that would fit a tent peg now um, tent pegs as you can see they're everywhere you can get them at uh, garage sales at flea markets at you name it this one's a little bit rusty but I always made sure I found a tent peg that was uh, the narrowest I could possibly find because the thicker the tent peg the harder it is to install the reason being um, in the ends of these umbrellas there's uh, the availability to to drill a little bit of a hole now what I did was is I took a tent peg and if I can find it and I cut it down to about 10 inches as you can see here and I drilled um, I didn't drill I cut the top off and I sanded it around a little bit and what I did was is I took a quarter inch bolt as you see here and I cut the top off and I inserted it into the tent pig metal side as you can see here uh, what I did was is I took some um, five minute epoxy and I mix it up well and I put it in to so I just cut the top part off and I put it inside the metal casing leaving about just a little under a half inch I also took uh, from a from an old bracket a um, rounded uh, screw thingy <laughs> I'm not always great with my words as you can tell and um, I made it so it's exactly uh, straight up okay so you can tell there's a little bit over I don't know quarter inch that can go into the camera uh, or a bracket mount and this is what I did after this was set I have a little bracket mount somewhere around here underneath one of my leaves and this is a flash bracket mount it has one up and a, a swivel head that I use for um, this purpose specifically there you know you can get these things easily at uh, um, you know eBay or Amazon and this is what I did now I'm going to hook it up to my uh, GH G85 pardon me and what I do is I'll attach this to the bottom And I angle it out a bit so I can easily uh, manipulate my screen and get it up, oh, in and out. And I screw 
this piece in here okay and you know you, you, you've got to figure out the DIY of doing it yourself and what I did was is I drilled a hole in this uh, in the middle of this just so that it will fit the uh, the tent peg as you can see here okay so it snugs in real good and what I do is uh, I can take this swivel head here and I make it so it will cover the lens and what I'm shooting so I'm going to move this a little bit this way so it covers the lens if it's a wide angle I make sure that the top of the uh, um, the viewfind or the lens will not you know hit uh, the, the umbrella and it works really 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 well um, I I have it set up so I can open my my viewfinder like this and it stays also inside of the umbrella area so I can uh, so I can shoot comfortably and there we go it works uh, it's easy it cost me you know less than five bucks to make and it, and it works really well the only thing is is when it's pouring rain out uh, I make sure that I grab my little uh, zoom h1 and a level air uh, to be able to have somebody um, you know I match the sound up with the visuals later so there you go easy you can you can uh, uh, have a couple of uh, tent pegs that you can you know you can cut them down to size so that um, you know you can have it a little bit lower I do have another one somewhere but I couldn't find it and it's a, it's a simple thing to do you, but when you're looking for the right size umbrella on uh, eBay or wherever you do your shopping make sure that there's the availability to screw a hole in here right even this one is is nice and when the hat part you just take a pair of pliers and you crimp them off this one I just got because I wanted to show what they look like when you first get them this is actually a nice one because it's got the camo or something dark if you get a white um, umbrella it's gonna be a problem because you can end up uh, getting uh, reflections in in your in your lens okay um, and, and it, it does help having have you know miking your your talent I gotta say I just picked up this Osmo um, mic uh, and with an extension using it as a level air it's nice because you can just bend it forward a little bit they are an incredible incredible mic so anyway oh another little tip I, I, I also have a, a GH2 and I didn't know this, but um, uh, I, I use it for, you know, my B camera or going out and just shooting shots. Uh, this rig is for the Panasonic G85. And I just took the screw out, put another one in, recessed this a bit, and it fits. This GH2 fits beautifully on my G85 rig. And I was quite amazed. It snugs in there right nice. And so if you're do have one you can use that I've um, been able to use my rig uh, as well if I need to have a radio mic or something on it I can easily put the umbrella on the rig itself and there you go I've, I'm you know I'm, I'm set up and ready to go and it, it works really well so try this DIY let me know uh, if you've achieved it and yeah give it a try if you have any comments uh, questions or observations talk to me and uh, if you like this subscribe because I got lots of different hacks and things uh, to show you okay this one pops up like this I think there we go Ta da